Well, happy Tuesday morning and welcome to November. And because of that, let's give you a little random but interesting reason maybe for some optimism, right? November could be a very good month for your money. Here's why we say that. Although April and October tend to get all the love as the best two months of the year for the S&P 500, which, by the way, is true going back many decades, it has actually been November that has been the top month over the more near term. Ryan Dietrich of Carson Investment Research put this together. Looks at the market going back to 1950 with the S&P 500's average return by month. You can see that the summer tends to be pretty lousy and September nearly always falls. But look at November, which is highlighted. It's been typically been a good month, but in the past 10 years, November has really come into its own. And in fact, over the past decade, November, not October or April, has been the best month for the S&P 500. That is that highlighted area in the graphic. And midterm years have also tended to do really well as well. Of course, here's your obligatory disclaimer. The past is no guarantee of future performance. But if you care about the markets and about history, it is some potentially good news. And yes, we have not had this level of inflation or political uncertainty at any time in those past 10 years. So take it maybe with a giant grain of sea salt, but... Coming off a very good October, maybe this could provide a nice little historical tailwind to the markets and your money. Random and hopefully interesting.